in, on your writing on G.I. Joe and on Transformers, you included a lot of female characters. Yes. Uh, more so than was usual for the time, and they also received a lot of depth and a lot of attention. Uh, what was your, your methodology behind that, and who did you look to for inspiration? Well, here's what made me a feminist. My father died when I was 11, and suddenly the men that had always treated my mother nicely were not treating her nicely. They were discounting her, they were hitting on her, they were really not the guys I knew. They changed. She didn't change. And my thought was, this is wrong. You can't do that. That's not the way it's supposed to be. She's a person, she's intelligent, she's not a fool. She didn't suddenly become a fool and a person of no consequence because she was now a widow and not a married woman. So I began to think about that and I always had girls who were friends. It never occurred to me, you can't be friends with a girl. You're either looking for action or you're, you're, you know, you're, you're crazy, you're not a real guy. So my feeling was, why exclude girls, women, from this wonderful world of entertainment? Why shouldn't they be participants? And I've known some really potent women that you would love to know, and you would not be questioning, is this a man or a woman? You would say, this is a good guy. This is somebody I want to know. This is somebody who's smart. This is somebody who thinks like I do. And forget about the gender, because when you know people, they fall into two categories, the good guys and the idiots. That's it. You don't need to put that on the, the, the door of a toilet, good guys and idiots, but it's basically that. And when you look at life that way, you figure, who am I to exclude anyone? Because here's the way I look at it. Each of us is the Pope and a serial killer. Each of us is a great actor and a shy person who hides in the attic. In other words, each of us is everyone. So whoever is prejudiced gets up in the morning, looks in the mirror and goes, screw me. Can't be that way. And that's why I wanted to be sure that the females had as much opportunity to act up and kick Decepticon ass or Cobra ass, if Cobras have one, <laughs> as anybody else. So that's where that comes from, and I haven't changed, but it was that moment in my personal history when my father died and I saw how everyone reacted to my mother that it made me a feminist. That's it. Thank you very much.